Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you guys a much requested hair update on my hair journey over the last year. Before I hop into this video and let you guys know what I changed, what I updated, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss anything here. All right, what did I do to my hair to get it growing? Let's get into this. All right, so you guys may have remembered that about a year ago, like exactly a year ago, I had a, I went through something, I was really depressed, it was the beginning of the pandemic, the lockdown sucked, and I chopped off all of this hair, and right after I did that, I was kind of upset about it, and that kind of shook me awake into taking really good care of my hair. I was suffering from protein overload. I was not cutting my hair enough, not getting regular trims, and I was using products that were not geared towards my hair, that were either too heavy, too light, or useless, the whole nine yards. I sat down, and this is the best tip that I can give anybody who is on a relaxed hair journey, oops, <laughs> and wants to get their hair thick, healthy, thriving, and long, Sit down, look at the ingredients of the products you're using and get to know those ingredients and what they do and how they benefit your hair and how they are possibly detrimental to your hair. I got familiar with which proteins are added to conditioners and shampoos. By the way, these hair care companies are adding proteins to everything, which is great. You just don't want protein overload. You don't wanna be using protein, you don't wanna be adding protein to your hair at every single like angle, you know? Like you've got proteins in your leave-ins and your shampoos and your conditioners and your serums and the whole nine yards. So that can be a bit tough on your hair. Other things I started doing that really, really helped my hair was tucking away the heat tools. I was a slave to my flat iron and all of that heat was killing my hair. I was flat ironing my hair every week and it was just dry and brittle and damaged and we have white carpet throughout our house while well, on the upper level and you know there was hair on the floor everywhere and in the bathroom and it was really really depressing when I stopped doing that and embraced my hair like wash and go styles and letting it air dry, it really started to thrive. It also felt so much better. It felt hydrated and soft and more manageable instead of feeling tangled and dry and like a pile of twigs. Another thing that I did was I got rid of my headscarf. If you guys are loyal fans, you will know that I was using this black satin headscarf. And on the grand scheme of things, it was fine, except I would wrap it around my head this way and tie it up here. And when I would tie it, this bit of hair would get caught in the knot. And I could never understand why it kept breaking off here. And then boom, I had like an aha moment. I'm like, <laughs> it's this headscarf so I got rid of that and I got myself well actually it was sent to me a proper silk sleeping bonnet so this is what it looks like right here it's from a company called mix silk it's also reversible which I love it's not great looking you know my husband doesn't love it maybe I could you know zhuzh it up at night but it does the job what I really like about it is it's got you see here, a drawstring so that you can really secure it to your head so that, you know, it stays in place. A lot of you complain that a lot of these bonnets don't stay on your head. I like this for that reason. The only drawback to this bonnet is this knob is so big and sometimes like, you know, it's, it's right here and it's hurting. <laughs> keeps me awake at night but just fiddle with it and it will become comfortable so once I started using this I no longer had any breakage at my edges right there at the forehead so that was great so back to flat irons I got rid of my old flat iron and L'Oreal sent me a steam pod 3.0 so this thing leveled up my hair health it runs on steam it's got a water tank right here and a little water goes a long way i really like this you know the first month after a relaxer using it for that first four weeks because it acts just like a flat iron except it's much cooler and it infuses steam into your hair so it's much cooler and it hydrates at the same time after that because it's so wide i admit it's really hard to get that regrowth straight and after about a month or so 
it will straighten your hair it'll look really great but it, it does leave some texture so if you're okay with texture the steam pod 3.0 is for you if you like the stick straight look try the GHD styler. So GHD was kind enough to send me the GHD Platinum Plus and this changed my life. It only goes up to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is considerably cooler than a lot of flat irons, which go way up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It's one touch. It's really, really easy to use. I don't have it plugged in, obviously. And it's got the smoothest plates Ever. So no snagging. There's no gaps in between the plates either, like um, like right there. So strands of hair will not stick in it and break it off. Also, I don't know what they do with this thing, but it's one pass technology. So there's no need to, you know, like, sorry, there's no need to be like one, two, three, four, five. You just pass it through and you get that really straight, beautiful look. My hair honestly started to get better when I started using a cooler, smoother flat iron. And this GHD Platinum was, I don't know, my savior. I really do love this. So you guys want a length check. Let me give that to you right now. So I'll insert a picture of what my hair used to look like right after I cut it and a few stills of it throughout the spring and summer of last year. And now we are a year later and this is where my hair is at now. So my goal is to get it here. So that's probably, I don't know, with me another year of growth or so, but I'm really happy at how it's going. My ends are thick and healthy and beautiful. Let me turn around and show you the back. So I stopped using some hair products that I used to swear by. This is all trial and error for me, and I feel now I'm at a really good place with my hair. I was using a lot of Shea Moisture products, and sadly, I don't know if the formulation has changed, or I don't know, my hair has changed, but they just don't really work for me anymore. I find they used to be really detangling and hydrating, and now none of them detangle my hair well, and I just feel like, the hydration and moisture isn't there any longer. So sadly, I stopped using that line and I stuck with products that are tried and true for me. So every week I deep condition my hair using Aussie's three minute miracle. I love it because it's inexpensive, it's readily available and it works. It's so, so good. So I coat my hair with this and I put it on the areas that need it first okay so the nape of my neck gets dry and my ends and the crown is hard to comb out when I need a relaxer so I apply this conditioner there first and then when I've got all of my hair coated I wrap a plastic bag around it and I use a heat cap the heat cap has been instrumental in boosting the moisture and hydration of my hair so not only does the heat cap allow me to deep condition my hair really thoroughly it deep conditions it in half the time because the heat speeds up that process so here is my heat cap I love this I got it off of Amazon I added it to my Amazon store so that you guys if you want can readily order it it wasn't very expensive at all it's got a little chin strap here and it's got I guess a heat element that goes like all over the cap I use it on the heat setting number three and I just I set a timer for 15 to 20 minutes I read a book read a magazine screw around on Instagram and boom my hair is deep conditioned so it's the funniest look ever <laughs> I look like Catwoman anyways um, this has really leveled up like of all the recommendations I make this would be in my top five get yourself a heat cap it saves you time and your hair will love you I am on the hunt for a great detangler. I am having a really hard time finding a detangler that I really like. I was using one by Shea Moisture, but again, I, I'm not thrilled with it because it's just not detangling enough. I picked this up, the Aussie Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I'm hoping that that would be a good one. The one by Caracare, their detangler didn't work that great for me either. 
I used to use a Veda a Brilliant Leave-In Detangler. I might return to that because uh, from what I remember, that worked really, really well for me. I love Aveda. I love Aveda's hair care. That's something that I haven't reviewed here on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to change that because that, that line is really, really good. So another leave-in conditioner that I'm really liking is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm really enjoying this leave-in conditioner. I think it's really, really nice. I've actually been using this once a week as a moisturizing agent. It does have protein in it though, so I'm trying to use it sparingly because I feel like my hair is very susceptible to protein overload. It has both hydrolyzed, something I cannot pronounce here, let me just see here. It has hydrolyzed rhodophysile extract and hydrolyzed pea protein. The hydrolyzed pea protein I'm less concerned with, but the other one I'm not quite sure what it is. So it does, my hair loves this though, but I don't want to overdo it, but I do love whey. The other oils that I started using that my hair is really loving is Gizu and whey hair oil. Sorry. So I'm loving Gizu because it's thick like honey. It is honey infused. My hair absolutely loves it. And way I like, it's really, really light. If you have really thick, coarse hair, this, you know, may not be for you, but my hair adores it. It also smells so good. It's like just an elevated, lovely rose-based scent. It's really, I, I don't know, I just adore it. So another thing that leveled up my hair's health over the year is figuring out that serums really hydrate your flat ironed hair well. So on the weeks where I actually do flat iron my hair, I use Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum as my moisturizer. So this serum is a little heavy and I would say it's, I don't wanna say greasy, but just use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way and I concentrate it from here to my ends. And it's just been doing such a great job. I highly recommend this serum. So another thing that I've been doing consistently that my hair is loving is doing clarifying shampoos every month to every month and a half. So I use Paul Mitchell's shampoo number two and it strips out all of the oils and dirt and like deep conditioner, all that buildup out of your hair so that your hair is primed and ready to accept a really, really good deep conditioner, which I will mix oils into every, you know, month, month and a half or so. When I started clarifying my hair, the protein overload went away. It took two good washes over the course of two weeks to wash out the protein overload. Protein overload is reversible. And I credit it to this clarifying shampoo. It's stripping, okay? If you use this, your hair will feel like hay afterwards. If you're concerned about it, use a really moisturizing shampoo. I love Cara Care's Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. I buy two liter bottles at a time because it's so fantastic. When I use this, my hair feels so soft like I conditioned it. It's easier to comb out, especially when you have a lot of growth be before a relaxer. I just love it. So if you strip your hair using a clarifying shampoo, you can give it one wash with this stuff and then you can go ahead and do your deep conditioner. I also boosted the leave-in treatment. So again, I've been using that whey leave-in treatment. I use this Kerastaz Discipline Oleo Relax Morpho Wheel. So this is an overnight oil treatment. I don't use this oil too often. Sometimes I will use it to moisturize and seal my hair. I'll use it as a sealant, but it is a treatment that you're supposed to use about once a week or so. But this, since I started using it regularly, I've really seen an increase in the shine and softness of my hair. I'm telling you, when you use this stuff, and I apply it from the roots to tips, I wake up with the softest hair. I just, uh, my hair loves this stuff. So you guys might think I'm crazy, but something that I've also incorporated into my hair routine is getting rid of my comb. I rarely comb my hair anymore, so I will just put it in the sleep bonnet. Like, I will 
wrap my hair like this at night, just whip it up, put my sleep bonnet on, and in the morning, I just finger comb it out. I get rid of any tangles by just separating the hair, so on and so forth, and I think the finger combing has just been way, way more gentle on my hair. I'm not experiencing any more breakage. I will admit, towards relaxer time, it's a bit of a <laughs> to comb out or to detangle with my fingers, but it's worth it. If you stay on top of your deep conditioning and wearing your hair up, not fiddling with it and playing with it a lot when it's down, it will stay pretty manageable. I will say that is been pretty key to my hair's growth and doubling its thickness. Even though I was really delicate with the comb, with combing it through, I just noticed that now that I no longer comb my hair, there's not like little bits of hair all over the place. I wasn't suffering with breakage too much, but now I'm not suffering with any breakage. So, you know, take that advice with a grain of salt. I don't wanna tell you guys to stop combing your hair and then you, you know, your hair starts to dread or anything like that. But I will admit it really did work for me. Just carefully finger comb your hair, but um, if you do choose to use a comb, just really, really be delicate with it and comb in smaller sections, like real small sections, okay? So Olaplex has been part of my hair care routine for the past three years or so. I will use it once a relaxer stretch, let's say, so every two months, and my hair it just drinks this stuff up. It really, really loves it. So it's like a hair bonding treatment. It is a reparative treatment. You know, it says that you can use it quite frequently, use once a week. I wouldn't use it that often, frankly. I think that's too much. At the most, I would use it once a month, or like I said, once every relaxer stretch. My hair is just so much more manageable when I use this regularly. It also, I feel, strengthens your hair after a relaxer. That's a good tip. You can use it right after a relaxer treatment. It's really, really fantastic. I also like Olaplex's number seven bonding oil. I will use that as a sealant after moisturizing my hair. It's really lovely. So the, the bonding oil is very, very small. I'll insert a picture of it for you, but a little goes a long way. I bought mine a year ago and I'm still not even close to being through it. Okay, so lastly, I leveled up my deep, deep conditioners, my treatment masks. So these I use about once a month. I deep condition my hair once a week using the Aussie. And then once a month, I will use either the Kerastase Discipline Oleo Relax Morpho Wheel Mask. I did a reel on Instagram using this stuff. It is thick and lovely and fantastic. There you go. It's an amazing product. So a little goes a long way. So again, I'll add it to the spots of my hair that need it the most, the nape, the roots, the tips, and I will add a little heat and I'll leave it on for the suggested amount of time. So ladies and gents, so I wanted to hammer home the fact that over-processing your hair doesn't just apply to relaxing and bleaching your hair and color treatments, so on and so forth. It applies to deep conditioners and other treatments like that. You shouldn't be sleeping with deep conditioners in your hair overnight. You shouldn't be leaving them on for hours and days. That's just insane. That is a great way to get protein overload. That is a great way to over moisturize your hair when your hair gets mushy and gross. Yeah, really be careful with that. There's no need to overdo it like that. Another deep conditioner that I really love that I use on a monthly basis is Oribe's Gold Lust Transformative Mask. So I use this sparingly because it's liquid gold. I was thrilled when Oribe started sending me products. It is really, really lovely. This mask is great for those who have finer hair. It works really well on my thick, coarse hair, but it's a little lighter than the Kerastase and the one that I'm about to show you. I really, really love this. This is a great option when I, within the first four weeks of my relaxer because my hair is a little bit more manageable. Really, really like it. It is for those who don't like hair that's weighed down or anything like that. It's a great option also if you like wash and goes. So masks, thick, heavy masks like this, I really like if I'm gonna wear my hair out a bit more often. And this I'll stick to if I'm gonna wear my hair out because it doesn't need that heavy, really heavy dose of moisture that I get from the thick treatment masks. 
And I would say my favorite, my favorite, <laughs> I'm back on the Joyco train, is a Joyco k Pat Color Therapy Luster Lock Treatment. Why do I love this? Because you only need to leave it on for three to five minutes. I am dead serious. Follow the instructions. There's no need to put it on your hair and leave it on for hours or even add heat. I put it on my hair, I, you know, I wash my hair, I rinse out the shampoo, I add this and I leave it on for five minutes in the shower while I shave my legs and suds up and then I rinse it out and it feels like I have new hair. It is so silky. This is the best detangling conditioner I have encountered since the Joyco Treatment Balm, since Joyco Moisture Recovery Conditioner, whole nine yards. This has been key to the health of my hair over the last year. This is a heavy duty protein conditioner. I do not abuse it. I use it every two months or so, and that is it. And I just leave it in for the five minutes and my hair just feels so much stronger, healthier, softer, it's shinier. I would, I would climb on the roof of this house and shout it from the rooftops, it's just fantastic. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video slash hair update. Once I'm done this video, the hair is going back up into a bun. That's another thing that I've been doing. Instead of wearing low buns all the time, I've been doing like little pigtails, <laughs> the Princess Leia pigtails, just to give my hair a little break. It's no longer breaking in the middle, thank God, but I think, you know, the constant low buns really you know, make a difference. Like you, you just have to be careful. Like just maybe move the bun around a bit. Now that it's summer, I'm gonna start wearing my clip-ins from Better Length a bit more. Anyways, I really hope that you found this video helpful and my own Relax Hair Update helpful. I implore you to join my Style Domination and Relax Hair Care Society on Facebook. The women in this group are so knowledgeable and they're so ready to trade tips and offer advice. It's just fantastic. And follow me on Instagram at dominique.baker. I would love that. And my blog is up and running. I just posted a blog post. I'd love it if you read it. Mwah! Thank you so much, guys. Love you and catch you in the next video.